The EVGA Supernova 850G2 and 750G2 power supplies are now available. Both of these power supplies use the latest architecture from EVGA and bring new features along with excellent efficiency. There are quite a few reviews around the web on both of these power supplies, so in this video we're going to focus primarily on what you get inside the box and some of the unique features. The biggest difference between these two units is the wattage, so today we're going to be unboxing the 850 watt version. So let's go ahead and get this box open. So the first thing you'll see right on top here is a small little bag here. This is to store any additional cables. This is a fully modular power supply design, so any cables you don't need, you can put right inside that bag. The first cable we have here is the power cable. This is the cable that goes from the power supply to the wall. It is a 16 gauge wire. Next up, we have one of the power connectors for graphics card. This is a six plus two power connector, so you can connect to either a six pin or an eight pin graphics card ports. Here we have another VGA connector. Here is a couple of Molex connectors. Those would be for powering hard drives or perhaps a water pump. We also have the CPU power connector. This is a four plus four design, so it can support either the, an eight pin or a four pin CPU power. Of course, we also have the ATX power connector. Next up, we have serial ATA power connectors. Chances are you will need a couple of these. And we have another CPU power connector. And it looks like we have another two VGA power connectors. And lastly, another SATA power connector. So certainly should be enough connectors to power all your devices. We also have a Molex to floppy power connector. Chances are you're probably not going to need that, but it is included just in case. We have a couple of screws here to mount the power supply to your chassis. This is a simple power supply tester. What it does is shorts the power supply so it can run without being plugged into a motherboard. It's good for testing or if you need to run the power supply for any reason without it plugged into a motherboard, that is what you'll need to use. Here we have a couple of tie wraps. These can uh, Keep your cables nice and tidy when you put it in your machine. Of course, having good cable management not only looks great, but is important to the airflow in your case. And here it is, the power supply itself. So on top here, we have a manual. Of course, this will tell you everything you need to get up and running with the power supply. And here's the power supply. As previously mentioned, this is a fully modular design, so you can pick and choose any cables that are needed. It really helps eliminate cable clutter. It has a 140 millimeter double ball bearing fan, and it also has a switch on the back here that's called Eco Mode. Now what that does is allow the fan to shut off when this power supply is under low load. So it can operate as a semi-passive power supply design. By default, that comes in the off position. If you want to enable the semi-passive function, just flip the switch to the on position and the fan will stay off most of the time when it is running. And lastly, this power supply has a single 12 volt rail that offers nearly 71 amps on that rail. So it is compatible with nearly every single graphics card out there, including SLI mode. So there you have it, the EVGA 850G2 and 750G2 power supplies. As mentioned previously, the, there is a number of reviews on these power supplies out and about the web. So I encourage you to go check those out for more in-depth reviews. For more information on this product, please visit the EVJ website at www.evj.com forward slash PSU. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.